Hey, well, I uh, have another mini snowcat track build video that uh, I'm getting underway right now. Uh, this one, I'm hoping to make some progress and get uh, get the tabs installed, or at least start to get the tabs installed into uh, the track. So the idea there is to get them uh, spaced in such a way that they have enough room to kind of allow the tire to uh, just kind of roll through the middle of the track here and so the way that the track is actually uh, molded there is this kind of section in the middle that allows uh, it's going to allow this tire to roll quite freely um, so that's pretty good but uh, yeah the tabs are just there really to hold the tire uh, centered in that uh, in that groove because these little uh, nubs won't do anything so the plan here is to get um, some kind of a template set up. What I'm thinking is just a, a bar that I can lay kind of through the groove here and have some holes pre-drilled and I'll use that as a template. So basically I can set the bar in, line it up with the edge of the track, drill, 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 drill. And then uh, when it comes to actually attaching the tabs, it's just going to be some uh, large uh, blind rivets. So here's the blind rivet that we're going to use. It's a steel rivet. It's uh, pretty strong actually. It's going to be probably better than a, a fastener, like a, a threaded fastener, a lot easier to install. Um, and so basically once uh, we've got the holes drilled in here, it'll just be a matter of um, putting a rivet through using the pneumatic rivet um, gun to tighten it and uh, that'll be it the tabs will be done so we'll get going on this and uh... all right so here is what I've come up with it's very straightforward basically just a piece of flat bar that you lay between uh, the rows of lugs you line up the one edge with the track there and basically just use drill bit and go drill 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 and then you line up the tab from underneath put the rivets in and use the rivet gun to uh, fasten the tabs in place and so what I'll be able to do is uh, basically just get like as I have it set up here on the bench get all the holes drilled and then go back and rivet 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 all the way across so that's the plan. Lots of uh, repetitive work here, so I'm gonna get at it. Okay, so here is the first six rows of these tabs installed. It goes quite well. Um, I'm happy the way that uh, the rivets are holding in place. Uh, so when the tire goes in there, it sits in there just beautifully and uh, I think it's going to work really well. There's just enough space for the tire to really move uh, through the opening between the tabs without um, abrading, I would say. In total, there might be mm, an eighth of an inch or so, but the tire is not inflated at this time. So uh, once we add some air to it, it'll probably expand a little bit and uh, it'll probably fit just perfectly in there. So anyway, uh, yeah, I've got um, about 60 pairs of tabs for each track. And so right here, I only have about 10% done. So I'm gonna keep going and uh, get this wrapped up. Okay, well I finished uh, getting all the tabs installed on the first track. It took me about two and a half hours to get them all in place. But uh, as you can see, they 
all look really good. Uh, quite pleased with how that worked out. Installation went nice and smooth. And so next is to tackle the next track and get that one finished up as well. And then um, we're gonna be in good shape to start to work on the Snowcat itself. Okay, well, we're back in the garage for a uh, second night. Uh, not gonna be doing too much, just finishing up installing the tabs on the second track and uh, continuing to get ready for the uh, track upgrade. Okay, well, I just finished installing all the tabs on the second track here, and uh, everything went, uh, went really well. I'm very happy with how everything went together. No issues whatsoever. So basically that is all there is for the track fabrication. Uh, the next couple steps are just uh, preparing uh, more pieces and whatnot that will be used to uh, install the new undercarriage on the snowcat and so um, I'm gonna leave that for another video. I'll finish this track video off here and uh, We'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now